Good Tuesday morning, Roger at Weathering Heights. Looking at a band of moisture that's uh, just working in the uh, mainly western half of Vermont and trying to overlap in the eastern Vermont now. A little slower uh, progression here. Here's the back edge, and this is associated again with an area of low pressure that will be tracking up the St. Lawrence River Valley and into Quebec and beyond. It's going to pull in some uh, drier air. This is water vapor imagery shows that uh, currently. Now, off to our west, I want to focus in on this. Uh, we've seen some case histories here where some pretty good rainfall has fallen, um, as much as four inches, it looks like, south of Rochester. See a couple four inch uh, amounts here, a little west of Syracuse. And uh, this is the back edge of the uh, precipitation in the, in the main moisture area. So, this is uh, working in a cross Vermont right now. And taking a look at the radar, uh, nothing of any concern in terms of any kind of lightning or thunderstorm activity associated with this. However, uh, this band of, uh, of rain is going to become heavier, probably right along the leading edge here, and uh, with uh, quite a few other bands behind it. This might even be associated with a frontal boundary, as the area of low pressure will be wrapping up and then pushing up to the north of us. So running the uh, latest uh, HRRR model, you can kind of get an idea here when that back edge begins to move in, roughly toward around 3 o'clock, uh, starting to enter parts of southwestern Vermont by even uh, as early as noon, uh, 1 o'clock. And uh, that's going to be sort of pushing across mainly north-central Vermont and then eventually the northeast kingdom. But on the very back edge, we might get a couple of hours of uh, instability where the sun comes out, some intervals of sunshine. And you can see here are some widely scattered thunderstorm activity may blossom. This is valid about 5 o'clock uh, later today. And uh, I would not be surprised to see a little regeneration of shower and thunderstorm activity on the back side of this system as it moves on through. And then things kind of wind down and move on out. That's valid about uh, 8 o'clock and that's 9 o'clock. little secondary bit of business we'll have to keep a close eye on. I think we will see more widely scattered showers and thunderstorms with one or two strong potentially uh, during the day on Wednesday. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights.